Hey everyone, GraphicsWorks here. We are back with another episode of Fine Love. And in the last episode, we went on a second date with Allie and she took us on a little cruise around the island. And things are getting stranger in our dreams. It seems like we're escaping, but we're not escaping. So I'm just kind of confused about that a little bit. But who knows what's going on there? But let's see what's going on with Scarlet and I forgot your name. Uh, it'll tell me here in a minute. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only. Oh, Violet. That's her name, Violet. Not only gratuitous, but also predictable. Well, come on. It's the beach. Don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you alright, Tara? You've looked better. Tara was practicing crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight. My worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. <laughs> and there's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. I swear I'd never seen Terra move so fast. Let's go in the water. Come on. Scarlet grabbed Violet by her hand and pulled her towards the water. Uh, but I didn't bring anything to change. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, guys. And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Ollie pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. It's hotter when the other girls are around. You think they saw? I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. The look on your face is priceless. Oh my god. Try to keep up? Allie ran down to join the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. Morning. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over. And you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's going to have any less headaches, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I did mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick on who you'll go on your first third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? And this time, let's go with Allie. Let's, let's go on a second date with Allie. A third date with Allie. To be honest, I'm not sure if your dates with Allie are really dates or just trying different kinds of transportation. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Let's get those cameras rolling. Let's see what this third date is. I found Allie by the beach, or more accurately, she, she came running to me. You're not going to believe this. What's that? Alright. Who took my keys? You've got 10 seconds before I take out take it out of Four's paycheck. Oh, come on. Er, well, walk and talk. Come on. Well, let's walk. Maybe more like run like hell. Four is not going to be happy when he finds out that I... Ah, uh, whatever. Come on, let's go. She grabbed me by my hand and pulled me to her into the forest clearing nearby. What's going on? You're not going to believe what I just found. What? Well, I was wondering how to stop, how to top the two previous dates when I stumbled upon. Wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm going to have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you learn things. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it. Is this a staircase? 
feels like metal beneath me. The metal forest? Just a bit more. You can open your eyes now. How on earth? We were inside a small plate, the very same one that had been rudely awakened on my first day. How did you even... It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not? I have so many questions. Wait a minute, are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, she rushed to the cockpit? Uh-oh. You're still hoping this goes better than the rollerblades. Uh-oh. I wonder what the big red button does. Uh-oh. Get me out of here. I ran for the door, but it was already shut tight. And away we go. The engine in the plane roared as we took off. I slammed into the side of the door. Oof. Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. You put a big juicy red button here completely unattended, and you expect a good citizen like me not to press it? You're bonkers. You got the point, but do you have any idea of how to fly this thing? Wait a minute. If you're talking to me, then who's flying the plane? I'm gonna die. Technically nobody, but... The right wing of the plane just smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Oof. I slammed into the wall yet again. Well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We'll have... We still have the other one. Exactly like kidneys. Forget killer date death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was going to be the death of me. I tried to run for the cockpit, but all I could do to stay upright was the plane teetering back and forth. I'm just kidding. I've got this. Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball and a pinball machine. Alright, I got this. The plane seemed to be stabilizing in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank god. I really thought we were gonna... Crash! Whoops. Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow, it bent back into its original shape. Not so bad if I do say so myself. Was that some kind of dumb luck, you know? Now for the moment you've been waiting for. We started gaining altitude, slowly at first, then faster and faster, higher and higher. Before long, we were soaring above the trees. Allie yelled out in triumph. Woo! I joined it and yelled out with glee. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash. Flying free. And without it, what's the point of living? Are you talking about freedom or flying? Uh, why not both? <coughs> that said, there's another reason I flew us up here. What's that? This is the only place I could find on the island that wasn't bugged, so no one can eavesdrop on us here. I'm sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could, but that's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier. Safe place to talk as fast as possible. I guess seeing you really know what the show's about then? Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do. And I can't risk telling you everything either. Well, why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? What are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have much time before we have to land. This thing's already almost out of fuel. Sure enough, we had already started descending. Please, just trust me. I'm on your side. I know there's so many lies going on around here, but I really want to help get you out of here. Though I have to admit, it wasn't on my to-do list at first. It's a good thing you're cute. I'm kidding, jeez. Do you trust me? Of course I do, you know that. 
You won't regret it. Promise. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find, and that people I work with need. It's life or death, not just for you or me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up until I have. Though at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Who's? No time to talk. We're almost back in range of the island's recording network. No matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them. Are we clear? Crystal. The plane flew lower and lower. Alright, we're about to be back in the recording zone. What else? What else? Uh, don't do anything I want to do. That really doesn't limit it much. I guess not. After we landed, Kat scolded us for taking the plane. Kat and Allie seemed to be exchanging more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. But luckily, nothing came of it. Next, the production staff separated Allie and I. It looked like Kat had arranged for something special for the two of us. All I was told that I wasn't allowed to see Allie until evening. Apparently, it's nice. It's time to film. Till then, the production team came to me to look for part of a romantic novel protagonist, and I was dressed to the nines. I must have sat through a hundred photo shoots and interviews before they told me it was time to see her. But it was worth it. Wow, even for an island, this place is fancy to capital F. Tell me about it. I broke one plate here and I have to pay for it off with the rest of my life. I mean, uh, welcome to Ocean Palace. Allow me to show you to your seat. Two gestured at me to follow him. We'd only taken a few steps when I saw her, and when I did, I couldn't help but crack up. You know, I kind of expected you to be dressed up too, given all the shit the crew put me through. What's the point? It just get ruined. How could it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. She reached for my hand and put mine with hers, with a smile on my face. She pulled me along with her towards the door. Whoa. We stumbled against the table, which knocked a plate onto the floor, probably shattered into a million pieces. In case you were watching, Cat, that was two. I knew I should have just been an accountant. She laughed as she pulled me along with her to the outside. The night air had never tasted so fresh. Each breath of air as we ran along the road made worries and fears just disappear. Eventually we ran all the way to the beach. Come on. She tightened her hand and pulled me along with her to the water. Wait just a... She laughed like a maniac as she cannonballed us into the ocean. My first instinct was to swing, swim back to the surface, but then Allie put her hands against my face and looked deep into my eyes. She smiled and then kissed me passionately. As if it had time had stopped. A few moments later, we went back up to the surface. I figured you could use a fun distraction from everything that happened earlier. Was she doing this for me? I never know what to expect with you, you know. And you never will. It was a night to remember. After today's date with Allie, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as it could be. A light breeze made it a bit chilly, but not enough that need to put on more. I found myself fixating in the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why is that? Just a gut feeling. Just a gut feeling. And the wide surveillance, uh, island-wide surveillance system. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show is almost over. 
It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the th last third day with Scarlet tomorrow, then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your day with Allie today? Awesome. It was alright. It was alright, not the way I wanted it to go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I won't pry. I guess three dates wasn't enough to save someone's marriage material after all. Who knew? Anyway, I love to stay in chat, but I've got some work that needs to get done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you were up to anything. Cat re reached her hand out to me and put my hand on hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her to the library. Now you're probably wondering why I bring you here of all places. You like to read? Ah, uh, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons here, so most of us store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security, details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them though, they're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting, and also a little unnecessary, who here is going to read a book? Oh, and I knew the state of the education was bad, but not this bad. Still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch a book to read, need to reference. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here. I'm glad you understand. And you know, I'm going to do everything I can to keep you alive. It's just a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, it's the least I can do. Great, alright. Mm. To start, I need you to grab me the Princess of Averanda, 100 easy recipes for the Philosopher's Stone, and... I regret everything. This must have been the hundredth batch of books I had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed the system should be shot. I tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but Kat said they just seemed like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off the island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it as more unpaid charity work. And you got one last day tomorrow, so don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're all out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure that out what my life was before. That's a good start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night. See ya. I guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship. But it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship, wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That, that's it, then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love.
recording call. Well, that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'm thinking that once I finish this date with Allie and Scarlet, and I've completed this round of it, I think I might go through this a couple more times and do each of the situations with the uh, other girls. And if you want to see that, uh, let me know if I can get five likes on this video and on the finale video of these two, I will make sure to go through this around again for the other girls but as long as i get five likes that's what i'll do and as always i hope you all have a good one and i'll see you around bye